Once the cookie decides to load. There we go. ESPN Sunday Night NFL for the Sega CD. Sunday Night NFL. All right. Oh, that's going to be great. <laughs> Game number three. What was the one we played? On Jeopardy for the DS. Oh. All right. Uh, okay. What was that one football game? It was like John Elway's quarterback or something like that? Yeah, quarterback attack or something like that. Yeah. It had like a really cool FMV clips. Game number uh, four is Infamous Second Son for the PlayStation 4. All right. And last but not least... Exceed second, Vampire Rex on Steam. That's a Danmaku. That's a shmup. A shmup? Hmm. It's a bullet hell. Mm -hmm. I think we did exceed third last year. I'm trying to remember. There was well, a... That might have been this year, actually. I forgot. There was, a, there was a Sega CD football game that was all first-person FMVs, but I forget which one it That's was. That's the one that Dan just said. John Elway's quarterback attack. We've streamed that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's... So so stupid and great. But I think we did the Saturn version. I think. There you go. There you go. Such an unnecessarily complicated FMV game. Yeah, we had to play on easy to win, and even then, we barely oh, did. Oh, Mike Mike Dicka's quarterback attack. That's what. It, oh, there we go. Mike that's Dicka. that's what it is. Mike Dicka. Right, because it, it has Mike Dicka in the right. locker room with you. <laughs> All right, pulls up. You guys are voting for Jeopardy of all things. Oh. All oh, right. No. I, I oh, uh, okay. I don't remember if that this version of Jeopardy is multiplayer because it's on the DS. Uh, 108 votes, 29 percent of the vote. Adam's family Pugly scavenger hunts in second place, 82 votes, 22 percent of the vote. Stretch Panic, 57 votes, 14 percent of the vote. Exceeds second Vampire Rex, 48 votes, 12 percent of the vote. Infamous Second Son, 33 and 8, 20, 24 of the game, 27 and 6. Sunday Night NFL, 25 and 6. Red Rumble Boxing Round 2, 14 and 3. 450 votes clock so far. Jeopardy leads over Pugley's Scavenger Hunt, 132 to 108. Minute and a half on the clock starting now. Whatever game is in the lead at the end of that minute and a half, that's the game we play next. I'm kind of rooting for uh, Pugley's uh, Scavenger Hunt because look at that. It's making a comeback there. It's, well, because the anti-Jeopardy crowd had realized what's happening and now they're like, okay. <laughs> we got to band together. <laughs> That's pretty much what usually happens. Let's see. Because the there, there's some Jeopardy. people that want Jeopardy, and there's some people that don't want Jeopardy. <laughs> Single player Jeopardy is Jeopardy. is a thing. See, I'm I'm just thinking about the long plays that were made of the Jeopardy <laughs> games. <laughs> Or Family Feud for the Super Nintendo or the NES, whichever well, one it was. Well, that's well, Tom's. Well, yeah, that's, he's an yeah, Evil yeah, Genius yeah, Tom's yeah. that one. Yeah, Tom, Tom did an amazing uh, Taz of Family Feud. <laughs> All right, 40 seconds left, and we got a lead swap. Pugsley Scavenger Hunt leads 162 to 151. It's still close. Jeopardy could at the very least force the 1% rule. Red is Pugsley. Brown is Jeopardy. Um, I, I prefer the new title. It will be um, Adam, <laughs> Legend of... The Legend of Pugsley, Breath of the Thing. That's what we'll... Oh, my God. It's the, it's the, it's the premiere Does Thing open breathe world. as a hand? That's, 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 the, that's you, the mysterious Oh, my part. God. Nine seconds left, and it actually is a tie. or pretty damn close. 170 to 168. Adam's family with the lead. Three seconds left. And it's a tie, oh. and I hate you all. Who gets the next vote? Oh, my God. It's Jeopardy. Ah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I can't believe it. Y'all are fucking uh, insane. Pugsley, Pugsley, no Densetsu will have to wait for another day. Pugsley oh gets a 1% rule. It is added on as an extra option. But no, not, not, we're <laughs> playing Jeopardy for the DS next. And I don't know why. Okay. Well. It came up. I, I like I like how someone I like how someone Brent. already appreciates Pugsley no Densetsu. <laughs> I feel like I probably should have explained Ready to Rumble boxing because like that I feel like no one voted for it because they don't know that it's not just a generic boxing game. Be because game show, John, it's single player. We have to stress this. Uh, all right. 
I'm gonna hit the restroom real quick. I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, let's drop some eggs. Oh, right, not questions. Whoops, sorry. Go ahead. Eric Bloodsmith for 19. T-Man 0064 for 24. Colin Team NP for 25. Decoy Troy for 65. Fun fact, running was invented in 1612 by Thomas Running when he attempted to walk twice at the same time. <laughs> Eurochan, thank you for the gift sub bomb. The Zerk for 21. Solaris Polari for 17. Gadzooks for 42. Snafulu for 67, and It's Rets for 6. Alongside Reulus for 15. Thank y'all for subbing, guys. Your eggs tonight are courtesy of the following people. What we got here? Um, from Sly Guy, you will give me an OSW. You will give me an... Doing bra! Making kids cry, bra! Wow. Is that OSW? Yeah. Nice. Red Nexella with dramatic AI egg from a Wikipedia prompt. You will give me an egg. Let it hatch. Let it grow up. Let it give birth to a new civilization. This race needs to come back from extinction. My new masterpiece, Eva Zero One. These terrors. How did Eva get into that? <laughs> <laughs> and for Matt Diaz, song of pun. Oh no. Friends. I'm starting a project to make a song for everyone who appeared in TRG Coliseum. These are some instruments that can be annoying, but I think my best one. Also, you must say, if there are any advice, uh, then it would help me a lot, and this might be done next year, planned for New Year, but I think it might happen in February. Also, for Shindemaker, my username got Matt Diaz, and a dense uh, is a dense Lamia who is 221 centimeters in height. They have very long, smooth black hair and purple eyes. Their bust fit a double D. Uh... Their real name got them hyperactive mermaid, 173 centimeters in height, E cup, uh, medium length wall, black hair, purple eyes. First encounter was with a monk who introduced them to society. Then your full name got you a loyal whole star, which is 179 height, C cup, short length, straight black hair, golden eyes. First encounter was a cook who received a scarf from them. All of them have long black hair. Nice. All right, and with that, friends, friends, we'll be right back with Jeopardy for the DS. God damn it, guys. See you guys in a bit. Mm hmm. I'll go get that ready. Yep. So how's everyone doing tonight? Nice. Nice. Oh, Alona, let's, let's get the reverb in here, okay? You ready for this? Just, just go like... Nice. Nice. There you go. I got no, I got no voice operating software. Yeah, yeah, I, I got a bunch of it over here. All I have is a button that just goes... Nut. It's a good button, but... I mean, it's, it's pretty good, yeah. I, I I'll, remember, but remember, I do have the speaking spell unlocked as well, so I could just go, you know... Nice. <laughs> so I got the, both the speak and spell and the Intellivision and Televoice unlocked as well. Uh, God. I'm sorry, I'm also talking with my girlfriend on Discord, or Please. chatting with my girlfriend, just messaging. There we go. She, she forgive you yet? Yeah. We're also talking about uh, uh, Ready to Rumble Boxing Round 2. 
Because, <laughs> fun fact, uh, Michael Jackson's in that game. Yep. Along with Bill and Hillary Clinton, known as Mr. President and the First Lady, respectively. Oh, yeah. And uh, Michael Buffer as a Hulk called Rumble Man, who was the final boss. This is legit. And, fun fact, Michael Jackson also actually lent his voice to his likeness. Yep, I remember when that was a big deal. Yeah, they deepened it for some reason, but... Uh... Yeah, it's actually a pretty fun boxing game. Final Boss is frustrating as hell for obvious reasons, but... Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, I enjoy it. Well, we'll, listen, for those of you that don't like game shows, we'll find a way to make this entertaining. Here's the problem. I'm very sure this is the one that we've streamed before. Oh, no. That's even worse. Which is why I felt so sure that it was actually a uh, single-player game. I'm just saying here, I'll just put myself, my reverb into a, myself into a cave here or something. <laughs> now I know why, because Yuki gave me this game. Because I forgot all the profile names were, hey, John, this is Yuki. <laughs> nice. It was at that moment we realized we made a terrible mistake. <laughs> it was at that moment we knew we fucked up. But yeah. Uh, oh man. Great right rumble boxing round two. I cannot believe it. Yeah, I can't believe they fucking got Michael Jackson. Because someone fucking said in the chat for Shaquille O'Neal, Rumble Man, and, Mike, and Michael Jackson. Yeah. Sorry, it just brought up again. Sorry. Right. I love that game. Alright, let's. And I'm also going to kill time while we wait on Jeopardy. No, I'm ready. I'm ready to go. So let's. Oh, cool. Let's do donations. Big the Cat says, Froggy, help me! But it was too late. Uh, thank you everybody for the bits. I got a lot of little bits here going everywhere. Uh, Shockwave says, Yo, I'm the guy whose mom was on Jeopardy! So I figure I might as well donate whenever Jeopardy wins. Almost my birthday soon, 24, and I'm getting to go on a cruise with my family, so I want to share that happiness. Thanks for always, thanks as always for the great streams. No worries, and again, congrats on your mom getting on Jeopardy. And enjoy the cruise. Let's... Give me a second, just checking something. Yep, yeah, okay. Let's go to our block. Speaking of Michael Jackson, the character who thinks he's Michael on The Simpsons was actually voiced by him. Yeah, but they actually legally, they legally had to use a different name for some reason. Mm-hmm. It was weird. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense, really. All right, yeah. so a lot of the submissions on the Buru right now are people doing their, uh, these, the monster girl thing that we did earlier. So I'm going to jam through most of these because there's a lot. So I'm just going to basically right. ignore the comments underneath and just read out who it is and what they got. So Gohan Skywalkers, Crazy Harpy, Shoulder Length, Wavy Green Hair, and Pink Eyes, E Cup. And now my back button won't work. There we go. Bubba, Bubba got Cold Hearted Holster, 219 centimeters in height, Shoulder Length, Fluffy Red Hair, and Purple Eyes, G Cup Bust. First encounter was with a guard who they found passed out on a road. And here is that guard. Thought I'd join in on the Monster Girl fun. Mugetsu is a loyal Oni who is 171 centimeters in height. They have medium length, smooth pink hair, and purple eyes. Their bust would fit an A cup. Their first encounter was with a monk who they found injured in a dungeon. The Canadian, the Canadianators species Minotaur ox girl hair. Why is this thing completely different? This is a different one. Hair gray, straight, hip length hair, eye color purple, attire speed suit, bust size A cup. This is a different one. What's with the attire and everything? I think they just Google searched Shinden Maker. And got a different one, yeah. Mm-hmm. Damon Katamaru, yeah. emotional Kitsune, who got, who's 171 centimeters in height, very long, curly purple hair, and pink eyes, double D cup. First encounter was with a cultist who they learned from. Masay is a hyperactive harpy who is 185 centimeters in height. They have shoulder length, messy purple hair, and blue eyes. D cup bust. First encounter was with a slaver who they lost to and was captured. And that's the music sheet we looked at earlier, which I read out earlier. I did notice that uh, Chugga's name is spelled wrong. Is Kuga Conroy? (laughs) 
Oh no. Oh no. I know exactly who I'm gonna see at the bottom of this. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, zero. oh, poor guy. I'll always remember when Areno played played this game for Game Center ZX and got his, an IQ of zero. I remember that this was a John. There was a John-esque moment in this episode. Arena was given an extension and requested to take the game home with him to practice. When he came back, he mentioned that he had misplaced his PS1 and decided to download the game on his PSP. He then accidentally broke it after taking a nap, so we had to buy another PSP and download the game again. I don't know why, but this just sounds like a John thing. That is very much a John thing. That's very good. Yeah. Kaicho, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Paul Kaicho. Arena. I tried to gamble with a brightest collar, and it was, still may not work. Maybe thicker lines for the bigger one. Also, the reason why I thought shading and highlighting were okay, because according to Twitch metrics, you have a yes emote that had it, though maybe it just works with yellow better than blue. We just went very light on yes, 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 so that's also why that still works. Mm -hmm. Kudos, kudos, and kudos to those who regularly make Twitch emotes and those who are able to make money doing them. I knew making emotes was going to be incredibly hard, and I was met with that exact expectation. Yeah, like the the gradient on on the yes emote is very slight. Faint. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and mainly if, for, mainly for like, shadow. So. And if you like, yeah, the, the only thing you get away with with the gradient is going from white to that shade of blue at most, and that would be all very high contrast. Um, the bigger pigeon though is still very light. Yeah. Alita's emotional harpy, who is 176 centimeters in height, shoulder length, wavy orange hair, golden eyes, D cup bust. They first encounter with a lumberjack, who they defeated. Congrats on murdering a lumberjack, Alita. <laughs> the height is actually three inches off my real height, so not too bad. Nice. All right, there we go. I knew, I knew someone would strike with this, and I figured it would be Jomny. I don't think anyone here is gonna draw it tonight. The man says as one fool was already working on it. Here's the G-Cup Harpy Proton John. Her back is totally fine, but who knows how she flies around. Oh, I was gonna say, that's not a G, and then he realized it. Yeah, Q-Cup. That is Q-Cup. That was the, one of the ones I got. What was the, I, what was the description on that one, even? I don't even remember at this point. Yeah, other than a Harpy having a Q-Cup, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'll look that one up later. And by which I mean right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, it's right there. Look at that. What are the odds of that one? That's weird. That's weird. That's crazy talk. I can't even find it now. Here we go. Careless Harpy, who is 163 centimeters in height, short, wild, white hair, and green eyes. Bust, Q cup bust. First encounter was with a meddling youth who they made reconsider their life choices for the best. Yep. Pretty much a short stack is exactly right, Jumping. We also have uh, Charming Lamia, who is 177 centimeters in height, medium length, fluffy orange hair, and purple eyes, Q cup. Their first encounter was with a ranger who they found eating out in the open. And what was this one? Yeah, Paranoid Dragon, who is 171 centimeters in height, shoulder length, messy purple hair, and red eyes, eye cup. Uh, first encounter was with a hunter who they offered them a place to stay. It's fun just trying to break that thing, honestly. Thank you, Jomming. Mm -hmm. The tits are literally the entire chest. My god. Uh. You had the perfect setup for this joke, and you didn't go for it, for shame. Oh, do even have time around there? Go. <laughs> TLDR, you didn't do the joke, and I didn't explain it correctly. I mean, I wasn't- I don't always do the Sub-Zero thing, so don't worry. I hope this will make Reese feel better about the whole monster girl diagnosis. A more accurate Lugogen the whole star. There you go. That'll help a lot. Mm -hmm. Perfect. I also like how she has the Audino type ears, so that'll make it even better. <laughs> yep. Thank you, Mel. C10, Prideful Kitsune, who's 181 centimeters center in height, long curly green hair and green eyes, H cup bust. Their first encounter was with a paladin who offered them a place to stay. Why is everyone's just offering them places to stay? Well, I was hoping for a Kitsune. I'm Cobalt the Fox on Twitch. That is okay. Cobalt the Fox is a gentle mermaid who is 215 centimeters. That's a tall mermaid. 250 yeah. centimeters in height. They have medium wavy blonde hair and purple eyes. They're e, e cup bust. First encounters with a lumberjack who they fell in love with. Why is that mermaid near a near a lumberjack? Yeah, that, it, that seems like a very contrived plot. Jeez, oh, I just reminded. I, I was watching some movies with Phelan and Allison the other day. Yeah. And one of them was basically a, I think it was a mermaid Christmas 
movie? I I'm sorry, mean... what? <laughs> it's hard to, I need to follow up what it is. Let me just pull up the name of the movie is. Uh... All right, look that up. But yeah, uh, yeah, Cobalt, don't worry about having it on sub. I completely understand. You don't have to be sub. It's not a big deal. Okay, okay. Thank you for the uh, art. Yes, um, it is a movie called A Mermaid for Christmas that was made technically this year. Um, and I think almost the entire cast for it is made up of soap opera actors and actresses. Amazing. <laughs> it's really boring. So here's an example of what drawings for the outfit collection would look like. I used her big sister and little sister outfits for the example, which are the first two outfits I designed for her. Uh, not only will her outfits change, but also her hair and makeup. You can never be too fashionable. For the collection itself, I plan to draw all the outfits in groups of three and four. And then use a tag in order to keep them all together. That way people can keep track of all of her different outfits. And if for some reason anybody wants to draw her, they'll have access to a ton of outfits to choose from. I think I definitely think this project will help me out as a character designer, even if it's just one character. And I hope you all look forward to different outfits that I come up with. I will, I will definitely. Thanks, Tree. Mm -hmm. Because Monster Girls are the hot topic of tonight, here's Proton John, the self-conscious Alurine. It's beautiful. And she's like, very self-conscious. And to go along with that, and while we're still on the topic of Monster Girls, might as well throw in another one of my OCs, my Slime Girl Gelato, who I keep neglecting to draw. I sincerely hope my posting my OCs here isn't annoying anyone. In moderation, it's perfectly fine. Don't worry about it. You usually want to keep it related to the streams, though, so we don't go... That's why we don't just allow too much spam, but a tiny bit's fine. Buffton John has gathered... Oh, my God. There are names for all of them now. Uh, Chugga Steroid, Tom Buffs, Manly Jewels... Buffiler for Yo Schiller, Insane Gains, Steven Lifts, and Nintendo Capri Dumbbell for a marathon across Calgary. The more subs they get, the bigger they'll be, and the more laps that will be added to the marathon. Bradley seems the most excited for it, and knowing Chugga, he'll be playing Pokemon Go as he jogs. Jogs are like running, but slower, the more you know. Hey, John, can you guess if either the male Buffton John or the female Buffton John is currently winning on my Twitter poll by a landslide? The current answer below will probably surprise you. I'd expect it to be the male one. And yep, spoiler, it's actually the male one that's winning right now. Mm-hmm. Fucking chug a steroid, my god. All right, and that... Nope, we got a couple more here. All right, who else we got here? Shillick is a defenseless succubus. 187 centimeters height, long, misty brown hair, brown eyes, beak up bust. First encounter was with the orc who they made to reconsider their life choices for the best. What happened? Why is Chugga? No, there you go. That misspelled Chugga. This is the first thing that came to mind. Kuga Conroy. There you go. It's a series that he probably doesn't know about. Chili is a charming harpy. He was 159 centimeters in height. Short, straight purple hair and golden eyes. M cup bust. First encounter was with an orc who they slept with. Forklifts don't die, they just go MIA. God, Chilling, no! Leave the forklifts alone! It doesn't work on Legendary! Why do you keep trying? <laughs> Chilling and I were playing through Reach on Legendary today, and uh, they kept trying to get the forklift kill achievement on Legendary. It did not go well. <laughs> Matrix Pichu! Uh, Alrune, 222 centimeters in height, medium length, messy pink hair and blue eyes, D cup. Blacksmith, who they were followed by. And last one I got here is Metasonic Tomboyish Kitsune on 185 centimeters in height, long fluffy orange hair and orange eyes, D cup bust. First encounter was with a farmer who they defeated due to their distracting features. Yeah. I like how the D cup is distracting and not the Q cup. All right, and with that, let's go. God, no, fuck. I fucking forgot. Jeopardy. I fucking forgot. Goddamn Jeopardy. By the way, have you beaten Reach before? Or is this the first time you've played through it? First time I'm playing through Reach. Do you have a full party for your campaign? No, right now it's just Chili and I. Do you want to just screw, uh, you want a third for that or not? Nah? Maybe. Uh, we're already... Chili, where did we get before the game glitched? Chapter 3? I don't even know if Nightfall. you're active in chat to even say that or do there oh there we go night nightfall all right oh it's not that far i don't think that was when the game broke on us basically so okay hey john this is yuki new profile <laughs> that's a, that's a strange surname hey this yuki john is new profile <clears throat> all right game swapped on twitch let's get that other screen in here i'm just gonna tell you guys we're probably not playing this one very long because honestly it, yeah, it's... 
There's only so much content you can I'm, make. I'm out of guessing this. you knew profile. Oh, out of these six, which one do you think I actually picked last time? Is new profile? I probably picked this. I'm I'm sure it was actually new profile, but oh, there is multiplayer. Except it's multi cart. So again, playing some single player Jeopardy. Well, actually, most people are saying I picked John. All right. Shame it didn't continue my game. Oh no. You picked John because it was your name. All right. Oh yeah, that looks like a profile I would have picked actually. <laughs> All right, well, I guess we gotta start a new game because we didn't get far enough. Actually, what is what is custom? Clue difficulty medium, AI difficulty medium, response time, long. All right, what's my name? Um, oh, I know exactly what I did last time. I can almost guarantee this is what I did last time. If I didn't, it's what we're doing now. It, it only this seems appropriate. Is Jeopardy. Here are today's contestants. I thought you liked Jeopardy. Unsure why you're unhappy about this pick. Because it's single player. That's why. And now, here is the host of Jeopardy, Alex Trevet. Thanks, Johnny. Welcome to Jeopardy, everyone. Good luck. Let's start the Jeopardy round. Here are the categories. I'm a little sad he doesn't read them all out. Mm-hmm. Jeff. 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 <laughs> Jeff. What this is, is so the same Bay? No. This is Beaver for 200. What is Jeff? <laughs> Uh, I'll, Viewers have I'll be... six of these on their heads and two sets of three. One is transparent and two helps with swimming on the Oh, I know! I know this! Sorry. I know this thanks to Angry Beavers! No, not I, kids! Jesus! <laughs> See, see, want me to read some? Want me to read some of this with the uh, with with one of these voices? With Jeff. The help? Jeff. I kids. Three D. Jeff. 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 Should I should I swap the screens? I don't know if this is gonna be helpful since I have to type in the answer on the bottom. I guess maybe we can mm -hmm. swap them. So let's yeah, see. Yeah. That way they can actually we can read the answer out like in the bigger <laughs> screen. Now you get the fun part where I need to figure out which one is the right one to use. Let's get rid of that one because that looks wrong. Uh, is it this one? Mm. Nope, that's again the bottom screen. Good, I had the bottom screen twice. New layout top. There we go. I'm just going to show this screen twice. You don't need to see anything else. <laughs> Is the cube the right one? Is this the right one? It is. There we go. We're good. All right. This five-letter beaver home may have separate entrances in a carpeted floor. Hopefully, no elks. You got it. So I, I basically don't have time to read out loud the the question. <laughs> oh, yo, the new one. Yeah. I wonder when this one's going to come up. Well, uh, Army wants to like read the uh, the the computer players when they do stuff. I know a beaver that's been real busy, Trebek. What is Monty Python and the Holy Grail? <laughs> Good. 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 I've eaten things that I didn't complain this much, says Diego the Sabertooth Tiger in this 2002 oh, animated um, film. It's Madagascar, isn't it? Oh, no, you're right. Correct. What is Ice Age? 
Please yeah, do not say I am Sinistar like that. <laughs> no, don't worry. I, 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 besides, I don't think it's the right voice for Sinistar anyway. It's healthier, we guess. Ron Wood's wife gave this Stones guitarist 12 balls oh. of organic vodka. Keith Richards? Yeah, and that's what the AI said. Correct. Boy, guys, I'm sure glad we're playing this again. I'll take war for a thousand, Alex. What is it good for? The oldest army unit in the world is this national one founded in 1506 that guards the Pope. What is French guard? That's shouldn't be right. No. What is this? Sorry. What is the Illuminati? <laughs> <laughs> what are the royal knights that say me? Good. I can also do an oh no own goal with that voice. That would work pretty good. This glutton associated with Michigan? Moose. Nope. Sorry. Wolverine? So Wolverines are yeah, gluttons? Wolver yeah, it would be Wolverine because that's the <clears throat> Michigan uh, Stadium. mascot. Yeah. Good. I'm a Wolverine. Oh, yeah, there. Yeah. I should I should know this immediately since I lived basically in Michigan when I grew up. Showbiz stuff for two hundred. Yeah. Dialogue from the show: Women don't leave Denny Crane and for sec and for a secretary. It was the Secretary of Defense. That's correct. They have this game rigged. <laughs> yep, and this is medium AI difficulty, by the way. I thought that was. Uh, go I thought that was gonna be West Wing Secretary of Defense. Clue. It's a clue, crew, clue. Gas masks become a key part of a soldier's equipment after poison gas was used at the Second Battle of Ypres during this war. No idea. Ypres. World War One. You got it. World War One. It was either that or. Are you yeah. my mummy? Are you my? I'm glad I got the partying out of my system because now I can focus on my career, said this simple lifer. No. Sorry. Oh. Oh, wait. Someone said Paris yeah, Hilton? Yeah, Paris Hilton, I'm guessing. Yeah. That, that, is, that is Paris Hilton. You got it. The porn star. <laughs> what I say is the best Jeopardy game? Uh, one that you can play local multiplayer with would be a good start. <laughs> Yeah. The short form for 200. Frag, meaning to kill a fellow soldier, started as a short term of this type for a type of grenade. Fragment, yeah. Fragmentation. fragmentation. It better be fragmentation, not fragment. It, it's, not, it's either fragmentation or fragmentary. It better not be fragmentary. Fragmentation. Okay, yeah. good. Good. Tell a frag. If if your internist gives you a script, it's short for this. Be scripture. Manuscript? No, sorry. I think it's man, I think manuscript sounds right, but I got no idea. <laughs> oh, internist. A lot of people are saying prescription. Oh, uh, internist. Postscript. <laughs> All right. Internist is a doctor, is what chat's saying. Hmm. Ah. Oh, oh, duh. Yeah. Why did I script? think intern? Wow. Because it's it's close in spelling to that. Yeah. yeah. Doctor of interns. Buck is in dollar is short for this item once used in trade and barter. Buckskin. Correct. Yeah, that's what the AI said. Nine hundred dollar, yeah. dudes. Nine hundred. Tobias. Bias! I'll take religion for 200, Alex. As part of Catholic baptism, this word doesn't mean time at the gym, but the casting out of demons. Oh, exorcism. Your, your mother sucks cocks in hell. Aspirate. <laughs> oh my god. Nice. <laughs> That's 
Not a knife, like a spoon. What did you say? Sorry, ex yeah, ex or size. Exorcism, yeah. Oh, come on, I tapped it. Fuck off, game. Good. Can you tell we've written this game? The coat of arms Hi. of this company founded in 1670 displays four furry beavers. Nope. At least this All is right. better than last time, because I think last time we got a bunch of American, like, related categories, and I was just like, I'm Canadian. Why would I know this? Nope. Sorry. Ba -ba -ba. Whoa! Here's the correct response. Oh, fuck off. It was actually the Canadian answer. God damn it. <laughs> I'm like, there's no way it's Hudson Bay. There's no way it's Hudson Bay coming. They wouldn't have that in a in this American thing. They fucking did. So pissed. So pissed. The one fucking time. The one fuck. And it was when I was talking about it too. I'm so pissed. God damn. I'm so actually mad about that. What the fuck, game? Uh. That's not it. <laughs> so mad. Uh, people are saying who's Kipling. Yeah. Good. Alright, so we can take Jeopardy DS permanently off the cookie, right? Yeah, <laughs> I think I might at this rate. In chapter 52 of this novel, a boisterous crowd is gathering for someone's execution. I didn't see it. But I guess it was Oliver Twist. Literature for 400, Alex. 19th century author known for writing about a venerable mansion with seven acutely peaked gables. The fuck's a gable? Good. Well, whatever it is, it's correct. And I don't mean Shorty G. Chat. I'll take literature for 800, Alex. Modern novels with biblical titles include Jane Hamilton's The Book of Ruth and Toni Morrison's Song of Him. Correct. I like these ones that I would know the answer to by the time I finish reading them out loud. It's already been answered. Henry V and Joan of Arc both fought in this lengthy struggle between England and France. Ow. That's not it. I was about to say, what's the war? Is this the, hun is this the Hundred Year War? Probably. The Fate Probably. series? God. <laughs> I just played Duels of the Roses, like, good, literally on Thursday. Oh, nice. <laughs> you got control of the board now. Great, for all these categories I love so much. A cab you drink is short for this word. A what? what? A cab you drink? What? Oh, Cabernet. Cabernet. Good. Wow. Uh, I've never heard of anyone who refers to Cabernet as cab when you're drinking yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, religion. Yeah. Let's see if my... Let's see here. Autobiography of a yogi? That's correct. Is uh, apparently uh, Hinduism. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's... That's correct. All right. The church founded by Mary Baker Eddy in 1879 was formerly called the Church of Christ. This, this is not. Latter -day yeah, Latter -day is this Latter Day Saints? Christian? Oh, no, Christ Scientist. Oh, Christ Scientist! Right, wow. those people that don't like accept medicine. The people that don't accept actual science. That's right. Gotcha. You got it. Sorry. Um, would that be... People are saying Beowulf. But... I was saying Beowulf? That would make sense. Oh, Gilgamesh. No. That would be... Nope, that's not it either. So, try Beowulf? I guess? I was saying, everyone's so... probably saying Beowulf because of... Uh... Yeah. Grendel, I think. Actually, that's probably it then, yeah. 
You got it. You got and it. That's a thousand there, you know? I think you're actually taking the lead. Grendel is Beowulf's sword at some point. I'm actually barely even holding on to the lead. Yeah. A cab you ride in is short for this word. Oh, gosh. Ah. I've actually never thought of it as one... Cabriolet. Oh, my wow. God. What? That's Never knew right. that. Because of Cabriolet, that's... That's actually, a, that's actually a fun little bit of trivia for once. It's the Daily Double. Oh, no, it's the Religion Daily Double. Only Joe it's... may respond. He bets 600. It's the doubler. Joe's the nave, the central part of a cruciform church, ends in this recessed area that is usually vaulted. Nani the fuck? What is dome? Here is what we wanted. I'm sorry, the correct response was apps. That was absolutely wrong. Religion for 800, Alex. Oh god, that was so And a deer wrong. park Buddha taught the path of this many parts, part of the four noble truths. Part of this mini uh, path. Part of this path of this many parts. Sorry. Oh, it's a number. They were looking for. I'm seeing lots of eights. Yeah. The eight noble truths, I believe, is referring to things like yeah, like I think that's the whole like life is suffering. Suffering comes from desire. Life is agony. Like, like, life is agony. Amphibious invasion of history. Three hundred fifty thousand troops invaded this French region in 1944. Is that like a Jepson invasion? Is that's that what correct. we're referring to? No, it was Normandy. The storming of Normandy. Oh right, right, right. No Sorry. Clue. Two sixty two model from this German manufacturer was the world's first operational fighter jet. Uh mm. Correct. <laughs> nope. The the Messerschmitt. Of yeah, course. Yeah, you know, the world famous Messerschmitt. That is common knowledge. Those are worth four. All right, and let's move on to next game. Yeah, let's move on to next game. <laughs> ah, salmon, my favorite category. Book title. The Mediterranean Isle where graphic wear. novels on film, <laughs> not a verb. You uh, <laughs> us bodies of water. I know it's us. Well, we got uh, we. Oh God, no! Stop! I'm I'm done. Leave. Why can't I save and quit? What the fuck, game? Because you're probably in the middle of a question. That's why. I, I don't know. I don't think it matters. If I literally had to wait till it's my turn to save our progress in this, I don't think I'm saving our progress on this. <laughs> This Bad chest pun. Thank you, you for the gift sub bomb. Look at your left. What? Well, friends, I look forward to meeting you people again. Graphic novels on film for 1200. Great. Tom Hanks takes his son on a violent mission of retribution against a gangster boss in this film. I mean, what gangster film did Tom Hanks do? Uh, I'll road to perdition. Seen a lot of road to perdition. God damn it! I clicked it. Angels and demons. Wow. No. Uh, Wait, that sorry. was. Oh hey, yeah, we got one of the new alerts again. Yeah. I was gonna say that's Eight. a different. Yeah. Angels and yeah, demons was the fucking. Eight. Eight. What movie was that? That was like that Eight. supernatural film. Eight. Good Eight. job, Stanley. Eight. 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 Oh, uh, you hit. Oh, for perdition. You got it. Road to over edition. Or edition. Alright, now will that actually let me leave? Let me leave in peace, game. There we go. Oh, wow. You we actually have to have it. control. Well, we're we did free. It. Congratulations! <laughs> and bye. <laughs> Cookie, let's go. I, I believe that was, that, that was a complete run of that game. You know, we did. It. There's, there's no such thing after that. It's just single Jeopardy and then three questions. Yeah. It's really weird That's how right. it ends like that. Not even it's a final Jeopardy or anything. All right, let's go to the cookie, <laughs> gentlemen. I think you're both free again. What are your games? Uh, also, the Adams Family Pugsley Scavenger Hunt is an extra option. Yep. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm resorting to my alternate title, Pugsley No Densetsu. 
Oh my god, I'm gonna slap you. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got for me, Dan? Uh, uh, how quickly can you download a PlayStation ROM by any chance? Because this is just a, a mod of it. If what? You have, do you have a PS1 emulator? Maybe, but it's probably not set up. Why? I was going to go Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories, but it was going to be 15 card mod that act where you actually get multiple drops instead of slogging through the game. I'm going to say no to that. I'm just, right that's now, fair. I'm just going to say no to that's, that. That's fair. Uh, I'm going to go back to Ready to Rumble Boxing, round two. You know, the boxing right. game with Michael Jackson and Bill Clinton and Shaquille O'Neal. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll ride with 24 the game and see if there's any more takers on that, but... Alright. We got 24 the game for PS2. Ready to Rumble Boxing, round two for the N64. The Addams Family Pugsley Scavenger Hunt for the Super Nintendo and the following five games, starting with game number one, The King of Fighters 2002 and 2003 for the original Xbox. Mm. Got it. Game number two, Eek the Cat for the Super Nintendo. I don't think I've ever heard of that. Well, I've heard of that. Yeah, I, I, it's it's not a good game. Game number three, Action Girls Racing for the Wii. Oh! <laughs> I swear this feels like a game Ty has played, like, as part of Wii Yes, Trash. I can guarantee. I think we've streamed it as well. Game number four, Ninja Kaiden Black for the original Xbox. Whoa. Hey, we have a save for that we could continue. Cool. Nice. And last but not least... Virtual Fighter 3 TB for the Dreamcast. Wait, Virtual Fighter 3 T What? 3 TB. TB. 3 TB. The that is actually that the point. name. That is actually the name. Huh. And you said that I think it's like third like technical bout, bout or something like that. Something ah. weird like that. Tournament battle is what I'm seeing. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Do it. Three tablespoons. Virtual Fighter 3 tablespoons. <laughs> Copy. Paste, 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 paste. There you go. Polls up. Vote to see what you want to see played next. I know what I'm voting for. What are you all voting for? Oh, I'm abstaining from the vote. I don't want to be the person that breaks the tie and <laughs> causes the... I, I, think, I think we're getting pity on this one because currently in the lead is Ninja Gaiden Black for the original Xbox. 80 votes, 28% of the vote. Action Girls Racing, 70 votes, 22% of the vote. King of Fighters 2002 and 2003, 58 votes, 17%. The Adams Family Pugsley Scavenger Hunt, 37 votes, 10%. Ready to Rumble Boxing Round 2, 24 votes, 6%. Eek the Cat, 17 votes, 4%. 24 the game, 19 votes, 5%. Virtual Fighter 3 TB, 11 votes, 3%. 400 votes clock so far. Ninja Guy in Black leads 130 to 104, minute and a half on the clock starting now. Will this be the last game of the night? That will depend on how fast we play the game. I will say that there is a worse game show we could have done, which would have been Deal or No Deal, single player. Oh, oh we, no. To be fair, that one you can at least take your time and have people in the chat or commentators pick. That works yeah. better as single player than than Jeopardy with two aggressive AIs are. Yeah, it's like super aggressive. Oh, shit. Sorry. Just drinking my tea. Unacceptable. Gotta stay hydrated, man. 48 seconds left. Ninja Guy in Black leads 1 to 41 to 116, staying roughly 30 votes ahead. A little under that. Nothing too bad here right now. Could change in favor of Action Girls Racing, and I feel like it's trying to. But there also there also might be pity in some of the viewers based on Jeopardy round. We'll see. I kind of want to ask Ty if he's actually like. Oh, minute to win it. Because I swear I've seen him play that. I I swear we've streamed that. I know. But I've I don't seen think so because I think this copy I have is pretty recent. It's also like two thirty in the morning. I have no idea what if Ty is like sleeping or not. So I'd rather not bug him. Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> it is two. All right, in the time's morning. up. Ninja Guy in Black wins it. One fifty one to one twenty three. Thank you for the pity, guys. I appreciate it. Uh, that is... Well, the good news for you guys is that means we get to go meet Rachel this time. 
This seems like the best time and the worst time to, to be meeting her. Well, there you go. Let's drop some eggs. Gamer Owen 64 for 9, Shade Scar for 33, Leonix 8 for 53, Misfit AF for 6, and Zach 14Z for 17, alongside one more thing for 58. Thank you all for 7, guys. Your eggs tonight are courtesy of the following people. <laughs> I should have known. Yeah. All right, we've got Jeff Vania from Gokai. Is this what I think it is? What is San Francisco? No, Jeff. What is Jeff? Right again. Not quite what I thought. All right. And <laughs> Gokai with Give Me Jeff. You will give me Jeff, 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 Jeff. Jeff. That video is amazing, by the way. I can't show it on screen because I'm pretty sure it's copywritten, but uh, it's an amazing video. All right, we're going to go to break. When we come back, Ninja Gaiden Black. See you guys in a bit. That doesn't stop us from linking it in the chat. Yeah, you can link it all you want. Yeah. questions while this awkward silence is happening. <laughs> uh, Camille is asking, Sketch, how are you doing? Tired, but well and happy to be here. Hell yeah. Yeah, hell yeah. What is pie? Hey, you can't just be dropping philosophical questions like that at a time like this. Being pie can be so many things, and yet nothing at the same time. You know what I mean? Endless you know. pie. Endless pie. Welcome. I was, I was about to just get into like some like relaxation techniques involving pie. It's just like... Ooh. Yo, pie ASMR, I'm all about that. The first step to bring yourself more centered is to imagine yourself as a pie. It can be any pie that you wish. Cherry. Blueberry. Even Boston cream. It doesn't matter what you choose, as long as you focus on the pie, the filling, the crust, the totality of the experience. If any other thoughts enter your mind, just let it pass through and contribute to the pie itself. I never saw him have sex with a pie. Sex with a pie. Sex pie. <laughs> Sex pies are not sanctioned in the state of Colorado. You will have to choose a different pie. What about cream pies? I mean, I guess if you're in Austin, Texas, you can get away with a cream pie, so. Uh, <laughs> you know, Without skipping a beat. <laughs> uh, uh, God, it's good to have you around again, Sketch. <laughs> God, are you there? It's me, Margaret. <laughs> Margaret. 
you have to continue thinking about pies. Otherwise, bad things will happen again. We don't talk about the incident around here, but you have to remember the incident. We don't want a repeat of that. That would be like a repeat of Jeff Birdy for Nintendo <laughs> Be Jeff. You have to let go. Nintendo's dual Jeff gaming device was a mistake, rivaled only by the virtual Jeff. A V Jeff 9000. The Virtual Jeff was most notable for its only flagship game, Water Jeff. <laughs> based on the famous Kevin <laughs> Kevin Costner film. <laughs> when the world was flooded by too many Jeffs. I can hear you corpsing while you're trying to say this sketch. It's because you're laughing so much! You can't keep the straight face here! <laughs> oh my god! I have not laughed this hard in a fucking long time. It's also 2.30 in the morning, so that makes it easier. <laughs> yeah! And also, yes, it should have been Jeff Costner, not Kevin Costner. But... Uh, Kevin Jeffner. Kevin Jeffner has been pretty good, too. Uh. <laughs> God cannot corpse. Y yes, he can. <laughs> yeah, how dare you find what I say funny, Dan, okay? I know, right? It's almost like I have a sense of humor. <laughs> uh, you're gonna love this. This is my normal state. And this is called a Super Jeff. Oh no. And this is the, is an ascended Jeff beyond Super Jeff. Oh, you can call God. this Super Jeff 2. <sighs> and this is to go even further beyond. <sighs> Dan Corpsing sent for the Jeff. <laughs> Jeff. <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting. This is Super Jeff 3. Colonel, this is a Jeff mission. <laughs> Metal Jeff, solid. <laughs> what is happening? Ground Jeff. <laughs> Jeff is happening. Yeah. Jeff Stranding. Well, Jeff Stranding would be a really great game to bring out at some point. You also, for, uh, to answer the question of what is happening, uh, I've been laughing like a madman for the last five minutes because of this. <laughs> you can see, see now, oh man, I'm actually really, I'm both pissed off and proud of Jeff Stranding as just a <laughs> stupid pun there. Jeff Jepson. <laughs> All right. Uh, sorry about that. It took a while to get the Xbox working because it was using a different setup because... I forgot my buddy Corey was over and we recorded a bunch of Dead or Live stuff for him, for his channel. Nice. So now that's up and running, so we can get moving on this. Quick look at donations. Thank you all for the bits as everyone was trying to get all the different <laughs> all the different alerts for Wario. Thank you, Night of Void, for the eights. Skyrim Mage RB says, All the content in Tier G has helped me stay motivated through the college after I didn't graduate last semester. I'm finally going to the UK in June. It's my first time out of the US. Always great to see your streams. Enjoy the trip. Being Going abroad changes a lot. So uh, enjoy that. John's Rage weeds and says, Hi, me. Glad to see you again. All that Jeopardy rage. Mm -hmm. And oh. that's it. All right, cool. Last last note is that Jeff Stranding every character in the game is depicted um, by Jeff Bridges you know that's just the obvious <laughs> <Wow>. choice wow <laughs> I see I missed a lot